Hello everybody. I tried to adjust some in-game sounds to try to make it sound a bit better. So I lowered the volume of the crowd in the commentary. So I wanted to give it a shot and see how I sounded while in the game. Oh, we'll see. It says, goal this week, get road preseason win. All right, let's freaking do this. There's Allen Robinson. So we got some a three milestones, and Jameis Winston has three milestones, three touchdown passes. DeMarco Murray, career, all career milestones. And Amari Cooper, 100 season catches. Let's see what I can do about that. Jermichael Finley. Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this All right, let's is just get this started out. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up. Uh-oh. We got Peyton Manning. It's He's on 88 overall. <laughs> now let's get you out to the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for this matchup. The Patriots are All right, let's go. waiting to return the kick. Tie four back. <laughs> All right, sons, let's go. Bring it on. We're underway here. Makes the catch at the seven. Oh. Runs it out to about the twenty-seven before he's taken down. What are you guys doing? Get off of him. Winston's coming on now. He'll be guiding the Patriots today. Yes, listen, he deserved to be the first pick of the draft. And you say the future of the franchise. Boy, there are a lot of people in the front office and coaches. They all are right. hoping you are right because they pinned all their hopes on Jameis Winston. Keep saying his name wrong. <laughs> Jameis. First down at the 27. Oh, that better not be on me. Don't do it. Holding oh, screw your face. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. All right, let's get this going. Come on. Allen Robinson, get open. Okay, let's see what we got here. Snap it out of the gun. Brings it in. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> when you get aggressive safeties, you like to get up there and try to stop the run. The post route is an awesome way to take advantage of that. Go down the field, 10 to 12 yards, land that outside foot. Oh. Nice throw by the quarterback. That's just a bad job of the offensive line. Come on, let's go! Come the Patriots snap it at the 36. The reception is made by Murray. Amari Cooper caught a ton of passes in Alabama. Darn it. He was the first wide receiver taken in the 2015 draft. He's ready to come in and play right away in the NFL. He's smooth. He knows how to run the route. But he was demanded out of Bama. No! What the freaking heck? And so now they'll bring out Allen to punt. Harris is got it on the return. Take it down at the 33. That return's good for about 14. At quarterback. One of the most 
most dominant players to ever play the position, and he's been in the league since 1998. Peyton Manning. Well, when you're on the defensive side, you're going against Peyton Manning, and it's all about the sky. Can you uh, fool him? And it's, it's very hard to do. Can you wait till there's two or three seconds left on the play clock before you show what your defense is going to do so he doesn't have time to react? Travis Kelsey comes down with it. One player to watch on the outside. He caught a touchdown in Super Bowl 49. This is Doug Baldwin. Yeah, he's just a receiver who goes up, makes tough catches. He just competes like nobody else, and there will always be a spot in the league for him. The Saints have it at the 34. Uh. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The Saints come to the line, and they put their receivers in a punch formation. And the reception by Doug Baldwin. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first step. First and ten. Gives it to Steven Jackson. Jackson's brought down after picking up Darn it. Come on. Play. When you talk about how it runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play is going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman oh. off guard and makes a good run. Manning's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Baldwin tackled down. When you see the defensive back on the inside of a wide receiver, you have a corner route on, make sure you throw it towards the sideline, let the wide receiver outrun the defensive back, and he makes a nice catch there. Manning out of the gun. Michael Floyd pulls it in. That time the quarterback throws the drag route. It doesn't get a first down, but still it's a good decision by him. The throw was right on target, and it picked up solid yards. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. This should be the last play of the quarter. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. The Saints still driving as the Oops. second quarter gets underway. Get ready. Grand 38. Grand 38. Put it up. Put it up. And the second quarter is underway. Yeah. He will not get away. He's taken down for the sack. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The kick is through for three. They've taken the lead on that field goal with the second quarter just getting going. Nice job by the offense. I thought there were a few plays called that time by the offensive coordinator that were not very good, but they overcame the coaching and still got three points. That returns good. Good yards. 30. Here comes DeMarco Murray and the rest of the offense back onto the field. They've fallen behind here, and maybe it has something to do Let's with the fact that he hasn't right really been able to do anything right on the ground at this point. Oh, I think it's everything to do with the ground. Ah. Here today, Jim. And listen, the coach has got to call some different plays. What they've been running has not worked. Time for a different look. Curley's lined up as Get the ready. single back. The Patriots will take the snap from the 35. Pulls it in. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Double tight end formation. Quick drop back. The Patriots get a first down. Nice. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play 
cover three. In other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left. Well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slam patterns are easy against this cover three. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Loss of three on the play. Second down and 13. He'll throw it over the middle. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. You see zone defenses. Throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback All right. Did. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. McCarron's three for three with that completion. Yes. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this and pick up those first downs and keep it going. McCarron's now completed four in a row. Curley's taking the handoff. Nice. Has 12 on this play. Halftime, two minutes away. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. Now first and ten. Another handoff. Ah. Gurley's brought down at the 21. Breaking huddle at the 21. Get ready. Dropping back three. Trying to find his target over the middle. But that pass goes incomplete. Well, it doesn't get much worse than this, does it? You lose the football game. Now you're looking at third and long. And look, there are no miracles in the NFL. I'll tell you that. So be smart. If the play is not there, go towards it. Dump it off. And wait for the next time. Darn it. can tie the game up with a successful field goal right here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. So they come off the field goal, and Phil, how important was it to tie the game heading to the intermission as opposed to being behind? Well, you know what it does? It's just it puts both teams in a different frame of mind, and it truly is like going into halftime, and you say, okay, it's all even. Let's start this thing over, and let's make some good adjustments to help our football team. The Saints step back onto the field on offense. Their last possession resulted in a field goal. Well, I know this. It was good defense on the other side. That's what made them kick that field goal. So the defense is feeling good about the fact that they stopped that momentum by the offense and made them kick that field goal. Trying ah. to escape the pressure. And there he goes, sliding to get away from the hit. It's not as easy as it looks. That quarterback, good job of sliding before he takes the hit that time. The Saints pistol set here. Let's go. Right, right, right. Hey. Second down and six. <laughs> Tries to get the feet down, but this will Ooh. be ruled incomplete. <laughs> On the way, third down. Cousins has everybody split out wide for this snap. Let's go. Right. From the shotgun. <laughs> Yes. Underneath that time. No surprise. It's another third down stop, and this has been a first half where both of these defenses have had the upper hand, Phil. Yeah, it's been physical, it's been fast, and it's been good. Now I'm talking about the defenses on the offense. The best thing they've done is not make a major mistake to put their team in a hole, so the second half is going to be interesting to watch. Murray's met after a gain of eight. And a run back of about eight. The Patriots put some points on the board on their previous possession. Although it was just a field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going. You think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work. And you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some The freak. And make this happen and get a touchdown. The Patriots are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. That pass play wasn't good for much. So now it's second down and nine. 
the Patriots at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. McCarron's got it in the gun. And oh my god, that was a terrible pass. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. The Saints defense now is gonna go nickel. McCarron's back in shotgun formation. The Patriots yes. move the chain. The Patriots will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. First down here after the completion. McCarron's going to take it from the gun. Wants to go deep. Yes! Another reception, give him two. The Patriots signal for the timeout, and they have none remaining. First down here. Here's the first snap after the big play. Let's go. From the gun. No, get in there. Yes. We near the half. The lead now is theirs thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, you know, how, look at that. Just think about how much that changes the mentality of both teams. One now all psyched up and emotionally feeling great. And the defensive side, oh my gosh, they are down and have to be disappointed about how they played on that drive. And no return this time as he takes a knee. The Patriots defensively have had a great first half, but so too have their counterparts. It's more or less been all about the defense these first two quarters, partner. Well, if you love defense, this is the game for Let's you. Go, and what you do on the offensive side, go in there at halftime, and some of those unique plays that you've been holding back, get them ready and bring them out in the second half. <laughs> That'll do it for the second quarter here in the Crescent City. And we'll take a break for halftime before returning for the third quarter. With this kick, the second half is underway. They'll take it at the 20. The Patriots defense had a strong first half performance. And here they are to begin the third quarter. Once again, trying to make the stop and turn things over to their offensive unit, Phil. Anytime you have a strong first half performance, what do you look for in the second half? Yeah. On the defensive side, look for something that's different. But more importantly, look for that trick play. Maybe a flea flicker, a double move by a wide receiver. Don't get caught in a situation like this on the defensive side. Let's go. Second down and 11. Makes the reception. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple yards. It'll be third down. Kirk Cousins will take the snap from out of the gun. Out of the gun. Ah. Reception. Now they take the football onto the opponent side of the field. Saints look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. Let's go. Right, 38. Hey. First down and 10. And now they're going to go. The ball is out. Fumble. Oh. Because a lot of times it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time they have the fumble, they're able to get on top of it. Harris is taking it on the screen. Yeah, there we go. Space, and this will be a loss of one on the play. I think man coverage is the, my best bet right now. You have to call a play that at least gives you a chance to pick up the first down. If it's not there, then you tell the quarterback to throw it short. The Saints snapping at the 41. Yeah. Paul Pazlesny. Take 
freaking Kirk, damn. Captain Kirk, how dare you. So far, not giving up very much at all here in the third quarter. Well, the defense is playing so well. I'll bet you the coordinator wishes his contract was up so he can go in there and get some more money because uh, he's done a terrific job and the team looks extremely sharp. The Patriots back on the field. Daniel Fells wants an interception. All right. Where's he at? Right now at the start of this one. Yeah, it is amazing what the mind can do sometimes. He's not even in there. You go out there and you score, and you just you feel like nothing can stop you. So it would not be surprised to see him to go out there and have success again. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Good job on the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. McCarron's now Let's completed go. four in a row. Flip to the outside. You jerk off. You didn't block him. Defensive showdown. Well, the final quarter underway now with this snap. Oh, and they're all over him for the sack. The offensive line at time had no idea this quarterback was coming on the blitz. He timed it perfectly. And the speed and the talent to get there. Oh, you guys shut your faces right now. The Patriots will take the snap from the 30. Going for the deep ball. Oh, yes! than a quarter to play it's going to be very difficult to catch them at this point yeah the, the chances of a comeback have almost gone to impossible but i'll say this on the offensive side don't take any chances and see if you can just find a way to march down the field to score to keep this game going no return here as he takes a knee in the end zone the Saints bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some play. I missed. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Hey, hey, Three-step drop underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Got to try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't go off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're going to be as good if you had good balance, that time the throws ready. off the ball. Kirk Cousins takes a look now from under center. Has his man. That's a gain of 
seven. Mark him down for another reception. The defense, they have a lead here in the fourth quarter, so they're willing to give up short pass completions, but good job by the offense. Let's go. Brent 38. Brent 38. The Saints will take the snap from the 40. Yes. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Ball at the 47. The Patriots come out for the next possession, having reached the end zone on each of their two previous drives. Yeah, it's been good stuff to watch, no doubt. You know, the offensive side, the offensive coordinator is right in tune with the quarterback to call exactly the place. Darn it. need to be called because of the situations, and the quarterback has been hot for the football Second and ten coming up. They'll go Brown. Nowhere to go as this will be a loss of three. Holding offense. The defense accepts the penalty. Still second down. Eh, it's freaking preseason. After that penalty, it's we'll go for it. Down at 20. The Patriots come out with a split backfield. Nice. Dobson is tackled down. How do you stop these wide receivers down? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. The Patriots will look to get to the 37 to pick up the first down. Third down and six. And this will be... Oh, my God. It'll be a three and out. The offense is back on the field here for this fourth and six play. Out of the shotgun. Throws the pass. Oh! <laughs> I did not understand the decision, but you got to make sure your team doesn't get down from that. You got to keep them up. The Saints retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. No! Define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive team, they, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Get ready. Five and eight. Five and eight. Three. Three. First and ten. Stacy takes it out of the eye. Saints running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big Get play. Ready. What Get happens? Ready. He gets tackled for a loss. Second and 11. They go screen with Stacy. And it's Paul there we go. who makes the hit. <laughs> Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We return Let's out of go. the two-minute warning. Fourth quarter action. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Oh. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. No! Ah. Team's terrible at zone. Oh, you jerk off. For the kickoff here late in the fourth with a slim lead now. The scores 17 to 10. 
Ah. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Patriots offense getting ready to start this drive. I'm sure they're having a hard time letting go of what happened last time when they had the football across midfield and field goal range and failed to come away with Whoa. it. Look, I like the fact that they went forward on fourth down. What I disagreed with was the play call. It was too, uh, it didn't give the quarterback enough options, and that's why it failed. But you still agree that they should have gone for it? Absolutely. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Gurley's got it on the uh, Come on! Yes! Made and the first down is picked up. And they're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Gurley's in the backfield. Single back set. Staying with the running game on first down. Curley's marked down after a gain of nine. Defense. Second and short. Following Should get the that run. Fed Ray Rich, whoever that guy is. Another reception. Curley's going to take the handoff now. And yeah. Advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead. I'm gonna get him a reception here. Movement, so what do you do? You run the football. When oh, he's blocking. Home, Darn it. Quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things: stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. That's his first reception today. The Patriots have created chances for themselves in the passing attack today. McCarron's been unstoppable so far. He has been unstoppable, hadn't he? When you're a quarterback, it's hot. Keep Hurry giving up. the football to him. They've done it, and he has rewarded the coaches. Nice. <laughs> with the catch. In situations like this, when you're looking to get that one first down to win the game, it's tough because the defense knows there's only a few plays that you're going to try to run. But the there you go. I should be able to get him a reception here. Down. Let's go. Karen's completion percentage seventy percent on the day. Come on, hurry up! The one who brings him to the ground. One more freaking reception for him. They bring in the extra tight end. You jerk off. Freaking holding, my God! Who's it? Todd Gurley, but the freak. Ah! And now, after the penalty, it's second down and fifteen. Not even in on this play, darn it! Ah! No! Hurry up! Hurry up! You slow piece of crap! Ugh. Of course, the players are not thinking about the fact that, hey, a lot of people are watching this here today in this game. But when Darn it. Win, <laughs> well, I got a few goals done that game. You played well. Boy, that is some great experience. All right, let's see if I have a good idea who to cut. EA Sports, Jim Nance, saying so long for now. Now, AJ McCarron may be a pretty good backup, looks like. Jameis Winston. And, all right, I guess. Let's see, Todd Gurley should be pretty good for backup run back. Seavering. Who had my drops? Doesn't really say. Freak. Freaking Fluker and McDonald, how dare you? Paul Pazlesny. Nice. Trey Waynes. Good. Alright. 